Um, my my fondest memories, I think, and and one of the things that was uh, was a big part of my life was uh, was playing softball back in the uh, in the '60s. And uh, quite honestly, I can never remember um, uh, before I moved here having any any involvement with that sport at all. But I think when you came to Niagara on the Lake. Um, it was a big part of, uh, of the community life there that if you were a young person, um, and you were athletic, you were kind of expected to be, to be part of that, uh, of the, of this, uh, softball organization. And what I remember is, um, uh, very primitive, uh, facilities. We would used to play at the, uh, the local school diamonds. Uh, there were never any lines on the diamonds. They would just throw the bases down, and I'm not even sure if there was a pitcher's plate. It was most likely a home plate, but uh, maybe they would make a line if they're, uh, with their foot or a, a little hole in the diamond. Like I said, it was very um, primitive, but I also um, was under the impression at that time, and I know for a fact now that we... Uh, we learned uh, we learned our skills very well, and it was something that we spent most of our time doing uh, was playing ball, either um, an organized uh, league game or uh, just pick up games with my with my classmates at school. I can remember um, uh, running home uh, from Parliament Oak School to our home on Victoria Street. Um, for lunch and my mom would always have lunch ready for us and we uh, would have a quick bowl of soup and a sandwich and I mean quick like in less than five minutes and I would run back to school because we used to play a game called scrub where you had to in the order in which you 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 um, arrived at the diamond you had to touch the home plate and you were first up second up and then you were pitcher first base second base third base all the way out to the outfield so and everybody's goal was to be up to bat and then you would stay up to bat as long as you would keep hitting um, and being uh, safe on base until you were out and then the pitcher would move up to be the batter and everybody would move ahead and that was a game that we called scrub and we played it all the time and uh, and if there weren't enough players to play scrub we played another one, a game called 21 up where um, of course, we'd have a uh, someone would take the ball and hit it to a number of other players who would get points for receiving a ground ball. I can think was maybe one point or three points. A first bounce was five points. A pop fly was seven points. And the first person to get 21 points would then be the next batter. And that's how it went. And I just remember doing this constantly during the warm months as we... Uh, we played ball, start in the spring and carry right through into the school season. And then, of course, our our minor softball association, I, I don't even recall if that's what it was called back then, but we had what was called a church league. And um, you would play for one of the church teams. There was St. Mark's, St. Vincent, St. Andrew's, and Grace United, I believe. I don't can't recall any other teams.